Hello. This video serves as a continuation of the previous calculation, focusing on the calculation of the necessary mooring line capacity for a barge. Its purpose is to demonstrate the process of manually calculating mooring requirements. There exists mooring analysis software in the market, nevertheless, its utilization necessitates training and entails associated costs. Understanding the mooring line's capacity to secure the barge is crucial in order to mitigate the risk of accidents resulting from insufficient mooring line capacity. This is the previous result for Part 1 calculation. For design guidelines, codes, and standards. Refer to DNV Marine Operations and Marines Warranty. In this calculation, we need to do the analysis for Case 1 and Case 2 where the forces acting on the barge starboard and port side. I consider the mooring line distance for case 1 and 2 is difference. So we can determine what is the effect of this distance to mooring line capacity. This is the list of formula we will use in this calculation. Please take note and bring out your calculator, so you can follow me in my computation. Case 1. Calculate the projected area perpendicular to wind. By adding the barge and cargo area. Consider the maximum area exposed to the wind for barge freeboard and cargo. Next. Calculate the wind load. To get this, projected area multiply by wind velocity pressure. Next, calculate the wave drift load. By multiplying 0.5, density of sea water, gravity, length of the barge and haft of the significant wave by power of 2. Next. Tidal current load. To get this. 0.5 multiply by density of sea water, current velocity by power of 2, barge submerge area, and shape coefficient. Now, add all the forces to get the total transverse mooring load, wind load, tidal current load and wave drift load. Next, calculate the mooring wire capacity. Total mooring load multiply by half of the barge divided by parallel distance from mooring line to front edge of the barge. Next, this is the theoretical capacity of mooring line required. To get this, mooring line capacity multiply to safety factor. I consider 10% contingency. Case 2 calculation. This calculation is almost the same we do in case 1. The difference only is the distance of mooring line to the front edge of the barge. Next, calculate the wind load. To get this, projected area multiply by wind velocity pressure. Calculate the wave drift load. By multiplying 0.5, density of sea water, gravity, 
length of the barge and haft of the significant wave by power of 2. Tidal current load. Calculate the mooring wire capacity. Total mooring load multiply by half of the barge divided by parallel distance from mooring line to front edge of the barge. Calculate the mooring wire capacity. Total mooring load multiply by half of the barge divided by parallel distance from mooring line to front edge of the barge. Next. This is the theoretical capacity of mooring line required. To get this. Mooring line capacity multiply to safety factor. I consider 10% contingency. For deciding the required mooring line. You need to consider the maximum value.